strong. You see this? This is my all time favorite room at the Bella. Ate Ago, try to touch this with your dirty hands. And then? From playing. So I immediately said no! With a loud voice. Oh no! She was shocked and ran away. So, what's your plan right now? So I'm thinking, what could I do? You say sorry to her. Can you help me, Ate Bella? Hmm. Let's see here. Aha! This is it! What can we do with that paper, Tibella? This is not just a simple paper, Gwilton. This can be turned into love. Love? Yes! Letter of forgiveness. Hmm. Can you teach us how to make a love, Tibella? My pleasure, Gwilton. Sakto kailangan mo din mamingi ng sorry kay Mama. Kayo ba kids? Meron din ba kayo kailangan hingan ng sorry? Tara, sabay-sabay tayo gumawa ng letter of forgiveness. I-ready nyo na yung materials nyo. Remember kids, don't forget to ask guidance to your daddy and mommy as you use this system. Wow! Amazing! Now, all I have to do is to give it to Ate Ato. Thanks Ate Bella and sa inyo din kids for your help. And you can also give it to your mommy, daddy, friends, or kahit sino man na gusto mong hinga ng sorry. Wait Ate Bella! Let's welcome our BTC Kids Church at home. Welcome BTC Kids! Today is a special day para matuto na naman ng new stories sa Bible through dancing, activities, and arts and crafts. Yes, Ate Bella. It says in Proverbs 22 verse 6, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Yes, and let's acknowledge those BTC kids at home na actively na participate sa activity natin last week. Wow, very active talaga yung ating BTC kids kaya nasa kanilang bahay lang. And we give you a wonderful clap. Wonderful! And let's keep on participating and engaging through taking photos and even videos parents with our official hashtag BTC Kids Church at Home. Tara, let's start! Alam nyo, may kukwento na lang ako sa inyo. Ano yun, Ate Bella? Hmm, about the parable of the unforgiving servant. Stories of the Bible The Parable of the Unforgiving Servant This is Jesus Heyo! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water oh, hey guys. and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! One day, Jesus was talking with his disciples and teaching them when Peter asked, Um, Gira? How often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? Jesus said, no, not seven times, but 70 times seven. How often should we forgive someone who sins against us? A, 77 times. B, seven times. We should forgive 77 times. Then Jesus told a parable. He said, the kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who decided to get his money back that he had let his servants borrow. 
While the king was doing this, one of the servants who owed him a million dollars was brought in. One million dollars, please? The servant couldn't pay, so the king ordered that he be sold, along with his family and everything he owned, to pay the debt. Wait, please! But the servant begged the king, Please be patient with me, and I will pay it all. Then his king was filled with pity for him, and he let him go and forgave his debt. But when the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few thousand dollars. Uh, hi? Come here, Will. He grabbed him and demanded that he pay him back immediately. Oh, wait, please. His fellow servant begged for a little more time. He said, be patient with me and I will pay it. No. But the servant wouldn't wait. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. Then the king called in the man he had forgiven and said, You evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be punished until he had paid all that he owed. Jesus then said, that's what my heavenly Father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. What do we need to have in forgiving our brothers and sisters? A. Pride and anger B. Patience and mercy We need to have patience and mercy in forgiving our brothers and sisters. We need to have patience and mercy. Sige na nga, Kuya Junet, bati na tayo. Sorry din kasi I tried to touch your things. Kahit alam kong madumi yung kamay ko. You did the right thing, Agot. And we always, always choose to forgive. And kung ikaw naman yung nakagawa ng mali sa iba or ng panting sa iba, always choose to say sorry sincerely. As our memory verses, in Matthew 6, 14-15, If you forgive others the wrongs they have done to you, your Father in Heaven will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, the Father in Heaven will not forgive the wrongs you have done. Now let's memorize it together, kids. In Matthew 6, 14 to 15, if you forgive others the wrongs they have done to you, your Father in heaven will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, then your Father will not forgive the wrongs you have done. Now repeat after me. In Matthew 6, 14 to 15, in Matthew 6, 14 to 15, if you forgive others the wrongs they have done to you, if you forgive others the wrongs they have done to you, your Father in Heaven will also forgive you. Your Father in Heaven will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, but if you do not forgive others, then your Father will not forgive the wrongs you have done. Then your Father will not forgive the wrongs you have done. Good job! Give yourself a wonderful clap! One, two, three! Wonderful! And always choose to forgive kids, for God already forgave us despite our kakulitan. Forgive others as you have been forgiven by God because God is good! All the time! All the time! God is good! Come on kids, let's praise God before we end. The 
Turn around. 